Touchdown of the afternoon, which is a school record for a quarterback. Was a great weekend for Mitch Leidner, the red shirt freshman from Minnesota. He joins us now on our April Air Hotline. And you're the Big Ten Freshman of the Week. So give me a specific moment. What moment from the game on Saturday was most enjoyable for you? Um, let's see. I, I mean, probably getting that fourth touchdown was really exciting. Uh, I mean, I thought it was a fun experience, the offensive line, and everybody played a great played a great game. And I mean, I thought the defense stepped up and played really well. And overall, I mean, the whole game was just a great experience. Yeah, four rushing touchdowns in one game probably should be pretty great. <laughs> uh, whether it's you running the offense or whether it's Philip Nelson, you guys are running a lot, and you're not really passing, not a lot of pass attempts at all. Why is that? I mean, the ground game has been very effective for us so far. Uh, it's not like we can't pass because we, we do have a, a really good passing arsenal. But, I mean, some teams are going to be able to defend the run, and that's when we're going to start airing it out. Hey, Mitch, Minnesota has been amazing in two categories. Four games, only 10 penalties, and only committing three turnovers. What do you attribute that to? I mean, I, I contribute that to the coaching staff. I mean, all last spring ball and all camp, we emphasize, you know, turnovers, don't, don't get uh, dumb penalties and don't turn the ball over. Mitch, what's your your mindset been in, in as far as preparation to become the starter, being the starter this past week and moving forward? Well, take me through how you got yourself prepared to be the signal caller. Well, I've pretty much been doing the same thing all along, you know, uh, just working hard in practice, competing every single day. That's, I mean, it's nothing too, too extraordinary. I mean, just keep working hard. And, just waiting for my opportunity. I finally got that opportunity, and now I'm just, we just want to continue to get better as a football team. Mitch, growing up in Lakeville, Minnesota, and now you're the quarterback of the, the Gophers, what's it like? What's your thought process? How important is it to you to beat Iowa and bring Floyd to Rosedale back to Minneapolis? I mean, it's huge. It's very huge. I mean, we have a lot of guys on this team from Minnesota, and we want that trophy back. And, I mean, it's, it's a huge game. It's a huge game, and I've been looking forward to this game for a long time. After going back through the tape, what are some of the things that offensively, not you necessarily specifically, but offensively, what are the, some of the things you guys need to do better to come out with a win? I probably need to make some more accurate passes, obviously. Um, but in terms of running the football, I think we're doing a great job. All lines doing a great job up front. The receivers are doing a good job. You know, we just got to keep taking shots and – and keep burying teams and keep putting points on the board. All right, Mitch, enough current questions. Take me back to little Mitchell Leidner. When was the first time you played quarterback? I played quarterback, I think, in seventh grade on the B team. It was my first time. And then eighth grade year, I eventually got moved up to the A team and then been playing ever since then. Why were you chosen to be the QB? Uh, I, it's because I could throw the furthest on the team. Tell <laughs> I was me the an story offensive behind lineman that. back in my younger days. Tell me the story behind that. Uh, I don't know. We were at camp. I think we were at football camp one year, and there was a throwing drill, and I think I threw it 40 yards or something like that, and it was one of the further, furthest there. So, <laughs> Mitch, if you had a choice between your hair, Glenn Mason's hair, or Howard's hair, what would you choose? What kind of question is that, Mike? Let's see what he answers. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Maybe he'll say you. It's ridiculous, Mike. Mitch? Yeah, I mean, I definitely like Howard, sir. It's, it's a good <laughs> cut. <laughs> oh, there we go. Let's make fun of the ball head guy. I no, got it. No, no, he shaves. He shaves. <laughs> Mitch Leidner, congratulations on the great start to your professional or college career, I should say. Thanks for the time, man. All right, thank you.